We must be better than I thought, and more than a match for Arenicus, since we defeated his minions, summoned the elven god Rillifane, and now disrupted his effort to suck the life out of the divine tree of Seldon Esselar. All his parasites are dead. All we have left to do is to destroy the monster himself, and then we can all go back to normal, and I get my soul back. That is the plan anyway. Since it worked when we destroyed Bodhi, it's got to work when we kill Arenicus. That soul does not belong to him, it belongs to me. I have waited so long for this moment. What has it been, six months since I first saw him outside of my cage in his dungeon? I had no idea what his name was, and he was so controlled that he never told us, even when we asked him, and I did many times. So I just started calling him Blue Eyes, since those big blue eyes of his was sometimes all I saw when he observed me. He never even had the decency to tell me who he was or why he was torturing me and my friends, although I am the better person than him by far. If he were to give up right now, now that we have him cornered, then I would accept peacefully some means of transferring my stolen soul back to me. Though I know he won't. He will fight until he can't fight anymore. He is not only determined to become a god, he has the stubbornness of one already. I know this will be his end, but he cannot defeat us in battle, as we are way too strong now, especially compared to what we were when he sent Bodhi and his vampire goons after us and took us prisoner outside of Baldur's Gate. This is your last few moments alive and with my soul, Arenicus. Savor it, because you are about to go to the Abyss, where you will be tortured for all of eternity, which would be fitting for you. We are facing Arenicus. Yeah, the Tree of Life in Sol Nesselar, and hopefully I will get my soul back this time. Erenicus must be defeated. I dare. Your plans are ruined, Erenicus. You will die here. You? You live yet. You have less than a fraction of your soul, and yet somehow you continue to oppose me? The power... The power of the tree is gone from me. You have been successful in your little scheme, insect, but now this ends. I will take great pleasure in eradicating such a nuisance as you, and then I shall re-establish my link, join with the tree once again. I shall find a way. I shall have the power. I don't think you know who you face. I'm not the same person that you took from outside of Baldur's Gate. No, John Elith, you shall not. Who? Elysim? Yes, it is I, your queen. Twice now you have attempted this sacrilege and nearly destroyed us all. You will not do this again, Jonalith. Do not call me that. I lost all right to that name when the Saldarin stripped me of everything that was elven, as you well know. And what shall I call you instead? Irenicus? Shattered One? Yes, it was a terrible punishment, but you violated everything we hold dear. You nearly destroyed us all. And for what? Power? Is that all you exist for now, John? It is all I have now, Elysine. There is nothing else beyond my revenge. Revenge for what you did to me that the Seldarine did to me. Oh, he actually sounds more alive now. There's... As the humans would say, there's a human quality to it, and it must be my soul now that's affecting him. He was so cold and distant before, like, like a constructed machine, like a golem. And your revenge has poisoned your heart. The tree touched you once long ago. Do you remember nothing of it? Is there nothing in your heart that remembers love? Is there nothing within you that remembers our love? What we once shared before this obsession doomed you. I... I do not remember your love, Elysim. I've tried. I've tried to recreate it, to spark it anew in my memory, but it is gone. A hollow, dead thing. For years I clung to the memory of it. Then the memory of the memory. And then nothing. The Seldarine took that from me too. The gods, the elven gods did, huh? I look upon you and feel nothing. I remember nothing but you turning your back on me along with all the others. Once my thirst for power was everything, and now I hunger only for revenge. 
And I will have it! Then I pity you. Would that you had used your stolen mortal years to earn your return to this sacred place. I could have loved you and you as I loved the man you once were. But I see nothing of him here. You are Irenicus. And all that awaits you now is death. That is very, very sad, Irenicus. Very, very sad. We shall see, my former love. We shall see. She's gone. You are but a gnat compared to my power. So she goes to rouse Elhan and the others while I am still weak. So be it. I shall crush them all if need be. I retain your power yet, Orin. It's not going to be enough for you. Your soul still courses through me. Come and make your attempt to reclaim it if you like. I have enough power to deal with you. Your soul is borrowed, and it shall be returned. You are a blight upon nature, and you shall be destroyed. For Dinahir and all fallen comrades, and for what is good and right, and for all these things shall Minsk and Boo fall upon you today. We shall taste victory, evil man. We're going to take back Orin's soul if we have to rip it out of your chest, Arenicus, and you are going to hell, where you belong. It is time. What is it? It's time to face Arenicus. We do have those potions. Where did those, where did those potions go? Did Jahira have them? Here. Uh, I suppose Mince could have it. You point, I punch. Everything that we have, we will use. So he's a mage. We have to be just protecting himself with four different, four different protections. Speak. I doubt my arrows are no use. But I do have that arrow, special arrow. If I can see him. He just casted two more. <sighs> All right. I can't even target him. There's no point in using up these arrows for no reason. He has to. We have to find the real Arrhenius, and he has to stop being invisible. I'll help however I can. Ari, I thought you were able to. Okay. Summon Diva. Just we back Certainly. off. He's cast an ice storm. Let him come to us. No we have the diva. The diva have a resurrect spell. Not worse! 
Okay, so he's there. I'm gonna try those arrows on him at least once. The arrow is like, it's not doing anything to him. Okay, swords it is then. What can I do? You need to be able to see if this is real him and not some kind of enchantment. Hurting him. The Jantus really hurt him. So was Minsk. I. You. Killed me. That was actually easier than I thought it would be. This is not. This is not. Not? What is it? Arendicus crumples, his words dying on his lips, and a strange quiet envelops the scene. I begin to wonder if I finally won, if it is all truly over. He is dead, so that's it. Do you feel different now, Orn? A better end to a terrible man. We did well, I think. But I'm not certain that all has been restored to as it was. Orin, do you feel any different? If this is a victory, there is a question burning on the back of my mind. What about what he's stolen from me? What of my soul? We have to bring Emelyn. That, that's my soul. I feel a small tug inside of myself. A pull that seems to come from the apparition that rose from Arenicus. It is gentle at first, but quickly becomes urgent. Within seconds I cannot breathe. Drawn inexorably to where Arenicus fell, I am still connected to my stolen soul, but it is no longer among the living. Released in death, my stolen soul does not return to me. It is falling away from the mortal world, and I am being dragged along with it. Oh, no. This is not what I expected at all. Where are we going? We've been drawn into the abyss. Is this my father's plane? This is my father's realm. Yes. The pain subsides, and I open my eyes to horror beyond imagining. It is an assault on my senses, a collection of nightmare sensations. This surely is hell. I slowly realize that I'm not alone that others were apparently so wounded in the battle with Arenicus that their souls were dragged to a similar fate as mine. I doubt they will be pleased with their present circumstance, when I don't even know why I'm here myself. What a gruesome experience! Where are we? What kind of manifested evil surrounds us? I fear for you, Orin, but it has to be, and we will face the evil. Let me fight close at your side. myself coming apart my essence I don't know and there was this pulling this force and and I knew it was you I had to come with you I just knew I had to oh I love you Amon we're dead aren't we if I'm a child of Baal shouldn't I be be gone then just like Saravok Irenicus said I was different but I don't know. But I know I'll follow you wherever I can. But... But why didn't I follow Bodhi into... Into wherever she went when she died? Unless it's because she was a vampire with no soul of her own. She just... Died. And there was only my own soul left? Or... Maybe it had something to do with your dying at the Tree of Life. I don't know. Maybe both. This... This place is terrible. I felt something pulling at me when I died, and I just knew it was you. I had to come. 
You may need my help here. Oh, such a glorious death in battle for Minsk and Boo. We were well on our way to the great fields and halls of Rashomon, but we felt you needing us, so we came. It, it is not finished, is it? This is death. And your strange power has dragged me here with you. So be it then. We stand together until the end. Good to hear. Emmeline has to get all of her items back. So if we're dead, how can we have our items? Oh, that's very strange. Very strange. Aranica's death was not did not have the same effect as Bodhi's did, and my soul has not returned to me. Perhaps it was because of the power he gathered from the Tree of Life, or because Bodhi was undead. Regardless, Renicus has fallen, dragging both my soul and me inexorably behind, and such was the power that my party members that had fallen or were near death were drawn with us as well. Together we are in hell, and I am certain Aranicus is somewhere near. Somehow, through all of this, I feel I must find him and battle him once and for all to get my soul back. We've been putting our defenses up. So this is it. Kind of fitting, I guess. With you and me. It was only a matter of time before we ended up here. Hey, little sister? What with the bad behavior and all? Well, with you, sure. I don't know about me, though. Right, I forgot that you're morally superior. Sorry, it just keeps slipping my mind, what with Daddy De Dearest being the dead god of murder and all. Feel nice to be home? Fire, brimstones, demons, what more could one want, really? I really don't know. Sounds perfect, really. Anyway, I want to tell you that I'm glad we're here together. You've done a lot for me, more than I think I can ever repay. But we've been through a lot, haven't we? Wars, torture, asylums, dragons. It hardly seems possible, but we did it. And I wouldn't have wanted anyone else by my side. Me either. Bad things have happened, but we're stronger for it, right? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So really, this should be easy. We're going to crush this... this mage and get our... get back our lives. Thanks for everything. I couldn't ask for a better sister. Neither could I. Now, let's kill this bastard. <laughs> so, this is the desolate wealth of Baal? A gruesome place. I cannot comprehend the idea that this place is linked with you, beloved. It is dreadful, and I am sorry that you were pulled down here as well, Agentis. You are not to blame, so to speak. I was observing the evil that is welling within you, but all my vigilance has not been enough to prepare me for this. One, one side of you, with which I still have to become more familiar, I think. Although I do not abandon the hope that you may one day put all of this behind you, naive as that thought might be. I greatly fear that this place could influence you wrongly, Orin. Please be alert and do not leave your path. I will be by your side. Good to know, my beloved. Well, I have no idea what's here. It's not like... I mean, it may be a part of my heritage, but I have no idea what we're to face. What are these markings on the ground? What is this statue? Horrible. I do have this distinct feeling that this is my father's realm, though. Well, the stairs over here. A horrible sound. It's like something screaming in pain. Let's go down these stairs, then. Oh! Ah, oh, so you have come to us at last, child of Baal. You have come to claim your heritage, perhaps? And in pieces, no less. How terrible it must be to die in such a state. Am I dead, though? I don't really feel any different, but... The trip down here was certainly uncomfortable enough. I'm not dead. Arenicus is dead, and somehow I have followed him here. And hence the fact that your essence has not disintegrated to rejoin the former lord of murder. This is Baal's realm here, and your blood holds sway in this piece of hell. Hold sway? What are you speaking of? You hold power here, or rather, the piece of you that is Baal's holds power here. 
and that part of you now rests in both you and the other. The wizard, yes? He stole much of your divine soul, but not all. So you are tethered to the mage as he is to you. Neither of you are truly dead, yet neither truly alive. Most interesting. So how do I end this, fiend? Will you tell me that? But you already know. You must seek your soul by gathering the tears of Baal. Only then shall the way be open to you. I, I know? I don't know that. The tears of Baal, what is that? Death causes many tears to fall, child. And Baal collected many while he lived. The tears will open the eyes and show you the path to your soul. A tear of Baal lies very close to here, child of Baal. Just beyond either of these two rooms before you. Okay, so we have to collect a tear to open up the door. You have encountered many times in your existence where you have been forced to swallow your fear, no? You have fought off terror that would overwhelm a lesser being and shown courage instead. Pass through either of these rooms and your vaunted courage shall be challenged, child of Baal. I have something I will offer, however, which will make it so much easier for you, child. You know, like so many with power, that items of magic can do much that the ordinary man cannot. Such as this cloak, for instance. Stitched together from the flayed skins of lovely nymphs. Wear it and be soothed by its powerful magic. Panic will never overcome you again. <sighs> That's horrible, but... Mm. With this cloak, you could easily gather the tear of Baal and worry not of your courage. I bow to the power of your divine soul, child, and offer this cloak up to you, if you wish it. A cloak stitched from the skin of nymphs? I can feel it's evil from here. I wish nothing to do with it, despite its power. Then you choose to rely on your own power and bravery. It shall be as you wish, child of Baal. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.